depending on what I have left, he may. I, I may not be able to um, counter punch him. This is high stress, guys. High, high stress. It agree. Unlikely. Really? Oh, that's a close one. Feel the tension. I can feel it. Oh, let's go, boys. Oh, how great it is. Welcome back again. Present day. We're starting new. Access campaign? Yeah, access. We are 401 in the gold category. We're doing a little bit of this. I, I had a few games time out on me over the last long weekend. I know. Excuses, excuses. We are not here to make excuses. We are here to march on forward and to win the day. How did our friend the Soviets opening turn go? <sighs> Look at that. Everything... Everything but his planes, gone. And I kept one fighter. So that's a very solid Ukraine. And into West Russia. Only lost... So he had a very good West Russia. And I had a, a very, very good Ukraine. Not perfect. Having a bomber would have been nice too. But no, no. We're happy with that. 100%. Let's go with the standard opener. I just... I love having the bomber as Germany. It's really difficult for me not to have a bomber as Germany. All that freedom of movement of transports, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. So we're not going to have that. Now, being he had a... What did he buy again? So he, he went the safe opening. Four infantry, three artillery. Which means I don't have to worry about his counter punch as much. If I wanted to come heavy into Corellia, all he can hit me with is these three heavies. One tank and two fighters. And then obviously all of his lights, but they're not as much of a threat. Hmm. Like, I've been liking taking my my battleship out towards the cruiser lately, to be honest. And then just taking my, my forces off of Germany, uh, off of Africa. But I don't need to, I don't need these guys in Ukraine, like, at all. Could spread myself out, get really aggressive. Try to take out both those fleets and this fleet. Forcing him to attempt on the battleship with this while taking Gibraltar. Yeah. I'll, I'll end my purchase phase, but this is totally um, not the normal for, for myself at all. Boom. 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 Gibraltar is not touching sea zone. Huh? What? Cannot load infantry into transports. So, oh, okay, okay, okay. My mistake. My mistake. I correct. I correct. Boom, boom. Okay. I'm like, I can do this. I know. I've done this before, man. Don't tell me I can't. Don't tell me I can't do that. Hmm. So West Russia's off the table. I am I am doing the uh, the spread out aggression, which I'm not not normally a fan of, but I don't know. We're just shaking things up. We're trying to get back into the win category here, and I'm thinking I go heavy into Corellia. Yeah, I don't even give him the option to take it back from me. Corellia is rightful Third Reich claim. Clay of the Third Reich? Ah, whatever. Whatever the correct verbiage is there. You guys aren't needed. You can't make it. You can't make it. You can transport more troops with that transport. Whatever. I can decide that all after. That's the turn. Those naval battles... We got the quick we got the quick rolls turned off too. Alright, alright, got the first one at least. I think it's like 5% chance you lose that when you attack a cruiser with a battleship. It's like 95% of the time you win. So if you lose that, that's uh you're having a what was that, one in twenty day? <laughs> Just shake your head, smile, march on, brother. What else can you do? March on. Hey, okay. 
Yes! All right, so far so good. That is really good. Now, we just got to take out this fleet without losing a plane. I don't care if every single sub's gone. I don't need a fleet there. Ah, his sub hits. That's unfortunate. Two hits. Could be worse. Ooh, man, oh, man. Let's get two hits. Okay, we finish him at least. Yes, yes. Exactly what I wanted. That was perfect. That was perfect. Perfect victory. You done right. That's victory. Yeah, I wasn't taking massive risks that round, but for the risks I took, they all worked. They all paid off. He's going to have to prioritize, you know, this sub or this fleet. He'll probably prioritize this fleet, but now that I have Gibraltar, he can't bring the his one fighter to, to assist. That's the advantage me there. So he has to risk bomber destroyer. There's always the chance that that battleship that takes out both of them. So we'll see, guys. We'll see. I don't know how that'll uh, what that's gonna look like in a few minutes. <laughs> Let's go. Maybe two fighters down here. The rest will be in Northwest Europe. All the movements, you know what I'm doing. You are up. You are up. You are up. Fighter, Northwest Europe. Man, there's a lot of little lines on this screen. I remember when I first started playing this game, I would screw up so much in the non-combat. That was like my worst phase of, of gameplay. I would make so many mistakes in the non-combat phase, and then immediately, like, end phase, and look and be like, oh, no, like, bombers just sitting there exposed. Like, what have I done? The foolishness, the foolishness. You know what? I'm going to make sure that... Okay, so I just moved... Let's get the AA gun and one infantry up to Corellia. And then the, the boys can step off up to the uh, Baltic state, let's say. They, I, almost, I almost missed the boys in Norway. Don't forget the boys in Norway. Never forget them. And that is a very... Um, I'm feeling good placement here. I guess that's only a small roll of the dice to assume I could still have this battleship alive. And since I can grab this unit from Gibraltar, I would only need one artillery in Italy, and then we could stick the rest up in Germany, and I could still... You know what? I don't even want that. For the extra punch, I could get into either of these boys... But I have a lot of punch down here already. All right, change of plans. We only need one. In real time. This is real time. I'm coming up with this madness. And our bomber definitely up in the Deutschland. And we will see you as Japan. I'm expecting a very aggressive opener out of UK because of how successful mine was as the Deutschland. Well, it is as I expected. I expected him to be very aggressive. He was, and he was very successful. Frustratingly so. No units lost into Borneo, and he didn't even send any uh, help. Only one unit lost in New Guinea. <sighs> took out my battleship in 13. I at least took out the two planes. That was the one minor success. And then, boom, no. <laughs> a complete loss. He got away with his fighter, and there's a cruiser standing, and he placed all of his units into India. I don't have a counterpunch to do anything about that at all. This is a disaster opener for Japan. This is as bad as it can get. Honestly, I, I, I can't think of what could be worse right now for, for a Japan opener, but here we are. Let's do the best we can. So we, we know where he's going to attempt to overwhelm me. You can see he even went aggressive with Russia. He's attempting to kill Japan first. There's no doubt about it. So I have to spend minimal amount of investment into ground troops. I have two transports. I have six ready to go. I'm going to throw two more infantry in. 
that's that's the whole ground purchase. And then I'm thinking something like sub destroyer fighter. Okay. Now, shoot, I like doing I like doing the Pearl Harbor. I'm a big fan of that as an opener. Even when even when he has success over here, I still do it, but I don't know. I have to I have to destroy both these transports. And I don't see how I do that while still fighting all the other fights. I take this fighter for there. And this destroyer to here. But then this destroyer is exposed to, oh, it's so frustrating that this cruiser, because this, this cruiser and this fighter can then attack. Depending on what I have left, he may. I, I may not be able to um, counterpunch him. This is high stress, guys. High, high stress. Or do I just have to abandon the, the Pearl Harbor altogether? That's, that's kind of what it seems like. Yeah, because I can't use my fleet because of the cruiser. I can't even attack either of these guys with my transports. And my transports are exposed in C-Zone 61 to counterattack. I can't even deploy. Hold on. So what can I keep down here? I can keep everything down here because I don't need to go into Biryatia. that's the play. I need all of these guys down here in C-Zone 61. My aircraft carrier can go that way. Uh, this fighter can land there. And this fighter can land there. Oh, ho, ho, and he'll probably attack it. He'll, where's his, where's his fight bomber? Oh, I took out his bomber. I took out his bomber at least. So you, if I was playing, I would have that UK bomber sitting up here in Yakut, and that would be able, be able to be part of that attack. Okay, I, I think that's that's the move. We ignore the Burma forces. We'll have to come up here into Yunnan with in force. Anway has to be smashed. We'll divert the one artillery. Actually, I could divert everything. From those guys because I'm gonna bring both transports into Yunnan. So one two into Yunnan, you my friend, one two battleship as well. Finally, fighter into Anwe and Biryatia. You get to hold tight there, bud. You hold tight. You can just tell how not enthused I am by this, but let's go, guys. Let's get her done. Okay. One round, at least. We don't mind this. And no hits. Okay. Good. Good. I mean... I'm going to, these should all be wins. Like, they're statistically in my favor. It's what's going to happen after, man. That's, that's the word. What's that British counterattack? Because he was max aggressive the first time. And it worked. Everything worked. Okay. Sub misses. Mine does two. Oh, only one. Two's not great. He doesn't have that set up right. To just take out Destroyer and his fighter first, dude. What are you, <laughs> what are you doing? That's not set up right, man. Sub versus sub. I get the hit. He missed his. And battleship. And then he'll retreat. Oh, I got them both. Okay, that was good. 
We need some of these things to go our way, all right? With how good of an opener that was, we need a solid Japan response. And so far, so solid. Uh, that doesn't sound very cool. <laughs> so far, so good. All right, a nice one-rounder again. I I'm going with such... Like I said, I'm going with such overwhelming force in these battles. I should win them all. Like, it's... What am I going to come back to when I when I log in as Germany again? What is, what is Japan going to look like? <laughs> That's the big one. That's what I'm most fearful of. Boom, boom, boom. You're heading that way. You can't move. Let's get you. Um, hmm. If I bring them down to the Solomons, the bomber can potentially help against New Guinea. So let's choose there. Normally, I like to land in Wake. Boom, boom. So that's two fight. I want to confirm. I'm not losing my mind. Yeah, two fighters. Battleship. Destroyer. Oh, man. Against cruiser. Two destroyers. Carrier. Is he short one fighter? He's short a fighter. Okay, good. Good. Any little advantage? Anything to deter him from attacking me, man? I don't want him to attack. You can see I'm, like, nervous to end the turn. <laughs> but I think that's everything, guys. That's the turn. You're going to go full aggressive on me. I'm going to go full aggressive back. That's how we do here. That Chimo chills. Boom. And our fighter. Next turn, hopefully we can get back to the normal. Maybe by a factory. We'll see, guys. I'm feeling a little better about that. Okay, back in as the Deutschland. The Russians, no units lost. One unit lost in Manchuria. Oh, are you kidding me? He attacked with five infantry, all rolling ones, against three. He took out all three, rolling twos, and only lost one unit in the process. What a disaster game for Japan. I have never attacked Japan with that kind of aggression before. Not with those kind of odds. And then one. My lord. My lord. Ugh. What a turn for the Soviets. Okay. And the uh, the Americans. Destroyed my cruiser. They lost a fighter. Okay, so that's more whatever. Who cares about the Americans? What a Soviet turn, though. That is um, not ideal. Let's, let's make things more in our favor. So we have time. We've held him back. Attack is not... Well, I mean, technically it's coming in Northwest Europe. But I would more expect him to take those units up to Scandinavia, to be honest. Now, he doesn't have British transports. Okay, let's do the purchase. Since I do have time, we could do like a 1-2 for Corellia, and then an all-tank purchase. With an, with an infantry, why not? Okay, I'm in. We have three units in Ukraine. We can match him there. All the tanks come into White Russia. Trying our best to one round that guy. Definitely one unit into Archangel. An expeditionary force to Archangel. Another unit into West Russia. This tanky tank, we're coming across to Transjordan. These two fighters. We'll go one to West Transjordan, correction. Another up to Ukraine.
let's say one. And then three onto Ukraine SSR. With all the extra troopers, they can go into White Russia. We want a one round White Russia. Okay. See if we lose that tank into Transjordan. That army is basically sacrificed, anyways. They're isolated. Fighters? God, oh, I didn't one round that guy either. Okay. Thought the four fighters might do that. <laughs> six for six when you don't need it. And it's all fine. We're going for the one rounder in White Russia. Ah, gotcha. You got one acceptable. When you take one loss attacking three lights, that's that's expected, right? They should hit one of every three, so you don't... That's good. That's good. You just want those crushing defeats. That's the big thing. And yes, bomber. That's what we brought you for, my man. Unfortunately, it's a trade. It's nicer when you can take it to put that little extra bit of pressure on him. And then we'll ice Russia. Oh! Fighter? Yes! Okay. So at least we got the exchange. And he got the... He gets the exchange. Not a great... By the odds, not a great turn. I mean, not... It could have been terrible, but I lost two units into Ukraine. Oh, we still have the tank! We still have the tank! Oh, we still gotta risk the tank, guys. Just got him. So, here with some luck, I'm expecting he's going to use his tank and do the same thing I just did. Maybe with this fighter. Alright, we'll block that. We'll block that. We'll put an infantry in the way. He has no transports over there. <laughs> I don't know. It's a great master plan. I mean, I don't know. But it's something. I'm doing something. I'm fighting back at least. So we will fall back from the coast. <laughs> from Germany, it's one, two, three. From up here, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, land. But I'm not attacking Russia anyways. Two, three, two. No, Germany's fine. Germany's fine. Now, do I send 100% of my troops eastwards? Being that I'm only buying one unit for Germany. If he drops everything here, it makes it hard to throw him out. No, I can't. I have to save... At least something. I lose three. I have four total plus the tanks. Okay. I like it. Because I just want that to be a deterrent. I don't actually care about attacking with that. Like, I don't want him to land in Western Europe is what I'm trying to say. I don't. I, that didn't come out very clear at all. So my artillery is right close to the front line to West Russia next turn. Infantry will be defending. They'll be part of Fortress Europa. Oh, I screwed that up. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to leave so many uh, infantry back there. Okay, that's fine. I left uh, three extra. Well, I got a better deterrent. These tanks are definitely going eastwards. Then the next turn, he won't have Corellia. Well, we'll get to it when we get to it. 
back in we go as the beleaguered Japanese. We are holding on with whatever we got. Everything we got we are holding on with. That Russian attack into Manchuria is honestly brutal, guys. He attacked with five infantry, rolling one, took out three of mine, losing only one of his own. Maximum oof, guys. Maximum oof. The only good thing I have going is the British don't have any transports over here. So that, that helps a little bit. So I am thinking I need at least a transport. Two units to go with it. And then maximum sea power. Sub and a destroyer. Our statistical most powerful sea expenditure for that amount of money. Okay, a happy unit into Burma. It blocks the tank off. Taking Borneo would be nice. He doesn't really have a counterattack. Ooh, I could risk the dice. Risk it for the biscuit. Try to take out that battleship. So that's 22 total cost. Well, no. Let's say I lost those two. It'd be 18. For 28 of his. No, for 35 of his. Thirty-five of his. Yeah, it's forty if I lose that too though. Or no, correction, thirty. I'm only risking thirty against his thirty-five. It's definitely an advantage me. And it's not like they're going to be used in another battle. So let's say I do this to Borneo. His planes... If I can destroy... Oh, wow, I have a lot to do here. <laughs> wow! This whole army needs to turn around and attack Manchuria. This plane can go one, two, three, and then needs to land. So as long as Kuang Tung's gone, I don't actually have to protect here if I want to put a, a transport here. Though I'm, I'm actually thinking to put another transport into Manchuria. So if I do that, You're in Manchuria. This can all come down to Borneo. With both fighters. These guys attack out. Even if they completely washed each other, it would be advantage me. Though I, if I come home with a bomber, that's big time success. Big time success. So let's, let's see what they say. Oh, it's saying it's unlikely. It's saying it's unlikely. Yeah, those guys can't reach. Other fighter can't reach. I don't know if I risk it still. This guy, one, two, one, two. No, they're not able to get there. So I would like to take out... Oh, wait a minute, what did I just do? Oh, wrong one. So for Manchuria, it's already saying it's strong, but I would like a fighter involved with that. Then with these guys, we're gonna go one, two, one, two, nope, that was a mistake. It agree, unlikely, really? Oh, that's a close one. These are all so freaking close, dude. These are all so close. Let's take a fighter off of this. Add it to Szechuan. 
There we go. That's our turn. And I, I don't even want to see. I don't want to see what they tell me. We're going. Just need one? Alright. Ah, well, they'll hit everything. Sure. We don't mind. As long as he didn't hit both, that's what I really cared about there. So that's four IPCs back with no counterattack that I have to worry about. We got this. Minimal losses. One's okay. Ah, zero plus two. Depends, it depends how he rolls here. Well, it, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine with that then. Our guys can roll pretty uh, average rolls if, if they roll zero for six. If they roll zero for six, then I don't really care what I roll. Acceptable losses. That's good because of how fortunate his turn was to take Man. He shouldn't have even taken Manchuria, right? So that's kind of like the Axis and Allies gods evening off the universe. Now, this is my most unlikely attack. My higher, highest risk. Hit, hit! Oh no! Hit two! Yes! 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 That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! 35 to 8! Mm, Japan's back in it, baby! Japan is back! All right, don't have some horrible loss here. That's all we need, just to take the wind out of my sails. Ugh. No. Yes, yes. Fine, we're fine. He can hit now, I don't care. Yep, cool, that's fine. We're good. Life is good, friends! Life is good! We took out that American Navy and both of our planes survived. Okay, one more target, that fighter. That is the final target here. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Infantry out of the way. Yes. That's better. I you expect him to get at least one on that. Beautiful. All right. We have a standing army in Central Asia. Japan. Let's just zoom out here for a second. Japan is back, baby. That feels so, so good. Oh, so good. Now, let's not get too excited. Let's stay focused. Get our armies back together. You can land basically nowhere. Solomon's makes the most sense. Uh, bomber back to Japan. Unless I want to use them against like New Guinea. But I would be attacking Western Australia probably next. So from here it's one, two, Three, four? No, he wouldn't be able to land. So I could only use him... And I'm out of position. I don't have units to grab. Okay, so then this bomber is better coming back to, like, Japan. Yeah, Japan's where it's at. Uh, you, my friend... I do want to keep him on the... Uh, on the mainland, a little closer to the action. Um, hmm. Would he risk it? Does he have a bomber anywhere? That's the question. No, he doesn't. So he would be attacking with a fighter. I don't know why he would bother risking it. He can. I'll offer that exchange. He can attack me with a three. I'll defend with a four. They're both worth the same. So Definitely fine from that point of view. And then finally, these guys... Probably pressure down towards the British makes the most sense. I, I want to be in striking range of India, so I'm just going to step one south here. All right. Oh, what a what a sigh of relief! As long as everything doesn't start going disastrous for the Deutschland, we uh. Could be battling our way back into this. That felt really, really good. I don't know if I've said that enough here, but that was excellent. It takes so much pressure off Japan. I like because the U.S. had not invested on in the Pacific yet, was trying to keep some pressure on, and of course the U.K. went all in, which takes pressure off of the Deutschland. So, all right, guys, let's battle back. Well, let's do a. Uh, I haven't. I haven't checked this yet. Oh yes. Oh, yes! 
Back in as the Deutschland. The Soviets destroyed an artillery, lost an infantry, acceptable exchanges. How are American friends into Norway and Finland also? To be expected. He left his transports exposed. Hold on, is there a trap? Is he playing 4D chess? Is this a trap? No, because I can get it with my bomber. Even if he is trying to trap this fighter. No, I think that was just a mistake on his part. Okay, anyways, let's go to our purchase. Now, my thought is I just maximize. I Whatever the best I can get, 12 units, so I don't have to put anything in Italy. Server has gone offline. Back in we go as the German Reich. How did we go? Ukraine, he lost a unit. Our Yankee friends, Norway and Finland, as to be expected. Let's make our purchase. So I'm thinking 12 total. 10 into Germany proper. And hmm. So I do want to take out those two transport for sure. I can do that with my bomber. I don't have to leave anything exposed. Let's say something like... That'll give me exactly 12 units. So we could do two infantry into Corellia. And then the 10 into Germany. Um, I could do one infantry in Corellia. With the extra tank in Germany. Alright, I like that. Six, two, and three. That is the order of the day. Well, obviously these guys come forward to Ukraine. The tanks that can reach, go forward to Ukraine. Bomber, gotta pluck you. Now, all of these boys, minus the one infantry that has to go to Archangel. All of these boys come south into West Russia. Finally, you guys. So these fighters... One, two, three. No, they'd have to land in Corellia. So I can't support that Archangel attack anymore. Well, there's no kill like overkill. So we'll just smash into Ukraine. Make sure we're one-rounding both of those. Now, finally, down here in Egypt. That will be our close battle for the, uh, for the turn. Well, I guess Archangel's technically close. Let's go. Stop talking, Dave. All right, boys. One round. Should be easy enough. Famous last words. All right, we got him. We got him. We got him. Okay. One is acceptable. As long as he's not doing something silly, like rolling two for two for two again and again and again, those those are hard to swallow. But getting one and a two, whatever. Okay. Fighter? No. Oh, and I lose Archangel. Okay, that's annoying. So that's one of two of my close fights, a loss. Boom, does he get a hit? Okay, army's intact at least. And finally the Egyptian battle. The Egypt, let us finally answer the Egyptian question, my boys. Yes. Yes, one rounded him. As 
long as he doesn't get three for three, boys. They get two. He had a very good turn. He had a very good turn. He had a pile of hits. Like, I'm attacking with overwhelming numbers. He had a pile of hits in there. Okay. You're back to Deutschland proper. Bring him to Southern Europe. One, two, three, land. Let's potentially attack the Caucasus. Okay. Next, we're going to go... He does only have literally two transports that can hit Germany. Germany's safe. <laughs> like, I'm placing 10 units in Germany. Germany is mwah. Chef's kiss safe. No worries. So we'll go two and two. And all the boys may be in white Russia. Or would the Baltic states make more sense? From White Russia, I can attack the Caucasus, the Baltic. I could potentially potentially attack them too. I'd have to land in West Russia. He doesn't have much of a punch that can hit me. Okay, I'm okay. I'll put those four into uh, the Baltic states. And this buddy might as well as well. I am definitely overthinking that placement. I am definitely overthinking that. And then, like I said, it's all getting piled up into Germany. My one extra infantry, just so Corellia is not a wide open gimme. And let's check the attack power. Oh, yes, guys, yes! A couple more turns of this, and this is the back in we go as Japan, the Brits. Into France, Transjordan, and Burma. No units lost. I have nothing down here whatsoever. Now, do I come forward? He can hit me with the this navy plus these two planes. But no other support. So if I wanted to attack Burma, I could do it with these two units. One fighter, battleship. Another fighter, another fighter, bomber. Ooh, and I can bring four down from up here. Okay, so I could take Burma and plug up that hole. All right, let's do our purchase first. Let's get, let's do the purchase and not get too far ahead of myself. I like the idea of plugging that hole up. So I have two transports. One, two, three, four. We could go. Do I place the the factory now? As long as I'm going all in into Burma, I can place that factory. He doesn't have a transport. He has no way of getting it from me. All right, I'm going to go with that. And then... Artillery tank. Get some better units even while I'm at it. I, it's either that or an extra sub. I mean, a sub's not a bad idea. But I suspect he's just going to retreat this navy up here anyways. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, we'll do the sub. 
And we are definitely going all into Burma. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. This fighter's not going to be able to play. Not this turn. Down here, a nice little Blitzkrieg. Where I want just one unit left in Szechuan. No one in Psyching. Send two units north, and then the rest will come straight west. These guys obviously will split up and then come across. And then finally, it's these guys. Yeah, here's to hoping we can hold that. Could just attack Kazakhstan. Put the put the pressure onto the the Russians a little bit more. Hmm. It'd be better to do it with this fighter then. Let's go one, two, you down. The bomber. Down to Burma. It's it's a lot into to Burma there. The, the only problem is I don't have another transport or the troops to, to bring down. So if he takes me in the counterattack, again, I'm, I'm kind of stuck not having troops down in the area. Other than what I could build in the factory in French Indo Chuck Thailand. Well, whatever, it's done. Let's go, guys. Stop talking. Do. Alright, bombarded. We won round. Got two. That sucks. I need every. Like, out of three. You got two out of three there. Uh, I needed every unit I get there. That pretty much ensures this counterattack will be successful. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, another hit. He's getting hits everywhere. And probably my closest battle. Arguably my least important. Oh, okay, good. Step number two, we're giving him round after round to pick my guy off. Hey, the infantry gets it done. Nicely done. That's an extra little bit of pressure on the Soviets. It kind of forces them to react. They got not just the Germans on the doorstep, but the Japanese. Hey, hello. Knock, knock. Surprise, mother. Okay, so you're Yunnan. The fleet needs to consolidate over here as well. Even with that, no, the problem, I don't have another transport to get troops down here. I'm going to just be dropping troops off of up here next turn. So I am kind of stuck. Building my factory back here in Guangzhou. Yeah, it is what it is. Boom. Now you land on the carrier. You're back there. Happy with all of that. Like, I mean, I fought off that initial super aggressive Japanese opener, but it's like I'm still on precarious grounds here. It's, it's I'm, I'm just holding on. We can if we if we take Russia. It doesn't matter really. We take Russia. It doesn't even matter. All right, let's get that into Kwangtung. 
Welcome back. We got a new cable on the mic. Fingers crossed. I think that's what the issue was. So hopefully we uh, we sound a lot better going forward. What did you do, my enemies? What did you do? Kazakhstan destroyed infantry. No units lost. Okay. And our Yankee friends, Northwestern Europe. Karelia, and they lost infantry. Okay, so about as good as you could hope for. Now, our purchase. So he has... What is that? 26? Not likely to take that. Though he doesn't have a ton of tanks or fighters. He had, like This fighter's out of position. The, the British don't have fighters. Probably best to pile into the Caucasus here. And then I can just build my best 10 units. Which would probably involve like a, a bomber or something too. Do like a bomber. That's 10. Or just two more. And I can put one in Italy, bomber, and the remainder in Germany. Because I'm not going to be bringing out more tanks. I'll probably just be deploying into the Caucasus. Or is the bomber a mistake? If I don't do a bomber, I can do a fighter. It can still help me fight every turn over here. And that artillery can become a tank. Alright, I'm okay with that. I'm a little tempted to go after this tank. Because then he has to attack me with either his fighters or with two ones with his Russian infantry. With with the pressure I'm pushing onto him, he's going to probably want to use them to attack the, uh, the Caucasus. So, there's that. One, two, three, then they can land. So my fighter would be exposed if I brought him down to help. Yeah, one, two, three, and he has to land in Egypt. But if that made him bring his fighters away from here and not take Burma, I think that would be worth it. All right. I'm potentially sacrificing a German fighter to save that Burm Burmese army. See if that pays off. These guys definitely into Corellia. Let's just look at this first. Let's not uh, be too dismissive. We can go all of our fighters and the bomber. It's not far off. It's not far off. We're, we're, we're probably like three, four tanks away. Or even three, four infantry away. Look at that. We have 19 three rolls. Just a little light on the infantry.
that fighter can't reach. I don't I don't think I'm gonna risk that. I don't think it's worth it. I'm not desperate, is is why. And I can use those fighters to take out these guys or or or, or. I got options, right? Europe. Ooh, unless I want to go after that fighter. Yeah, with that bomber. And then everyone else can just pile into the Caucasus. So you have... Six infantry, you're empty. And he has four that can come from the UK. I don't know that I have the numbers over here to pile up. Still says it's strong. Okay, okay. I'm being fairly aggressive here. It likes it. It, it agrees with me. I mean, if I was being... Oh, are you kidding me? What a joke. What a joke. Just sacrifice to playing two for nothing. Yeah, I care way less about that. I would have far rather taken out that tank. That's why I sent the extra fighter. Oh, that's a joke. All right. You're up. Make it up to me. Let's get some good battles here. Those weren't... That's not good. Try that again. Holy jeez Louise, guys. What a joke! What a joke! One hit on, what was that, six rounds? Ugh. Okay, at least we got this one. The more valuable of the two. And then going after the fighter. Don't care about taking the plot, just want to destroy that fighter. Got it. Hey, took the plot. A little bit of a cherry on top for losing the tank and a fighter down in um, in Africa. Ah, uh, that's, that's vexing. Again, it could have the same effect. He could take these two fighters over here with his tank to come overwhelmingly and ignore Burma. So, but potentially it's doing what I want it to do, but that is not, not how I wanted that to go. If I land my fighters in Germany, they can't attack Russia. One, two, three, four, no. Poland they can. Or Baltic or wherever. But I now have to worry about... No, the Americans can't reach me next turn. And I have 10 units going there, so it'll be 14. Yeah, Germany is secure. Boom, boom. You can land in Germany. 
All these guys down, minus one into the caucuses. I was really annoyed by that, lo losing that African battle. Just the fact that I knew I was, I was basically sacrificing a fighter to do it. Just, just to try to ensure the win. And I still didn't get the win. Yeah. Not our finest moment, but overall, solid enough of a turn. Yes, that feels good. We got that 50 locked down. He's, he's in trouble. He needs to get desperate. He's lost this game. Oh, the British did not gamble their fleet. They didn't retreat it either. But they had some losses into Burma. No units lost in France. That's unfortunate. Destroyed the fighter. Lost their tank. Okay. All right. A little bit of evening off in the universe. And finally, Burma lost five infantry. Lost five infantry going into Burma. Those four units. Give those guys friggin' medals, man. Posthumous medals. Anyone who survived and fell back, give them promotions. Wow. Well done, guys. So that leaves India weak. That leaves India weak. That's what we like. So. Now I only have... Uh, blah, 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 I only have the four units in Japan to move. Yeah, so... Probably just grab this one. Alright. So then I'll need to make six in Japan for next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two tanks in Guangdong. That sub. That sub complicates things slightly. Because I would like to attack forward to here. What would I need to leave? Move back two destroyers. And build another sub. This sub could come forward. We would have three lights, the extra battleship. He doesn't have an air force. I'm... That works. Now, boom, boom, taking back Burma. Push forward into season 35. It is our season. Ooh, look at that fighter. Look at that. Oh, yes. Bomber can reach. Yes, it can. Yes, sir. It can. We'll go one and one. Arguably, I should put both of them into Yakuts. But I'm going to get, I'm going to be greedy. We're going to go for both. That allows me to... Put both these fighters into Burma. And both these. It's a little bit of overkill for Burma. Why not? And he misses. Very good. Very, very good. He saw what four of my, my units did last time. So I got two there again. He's not coming at me. This battle, we have the battleship to absorb any uh, losses. If he gets the lucky hit, we don't even care. Finally, do we get the fighter? Just destroy it. I don't care about losing my unit. Hey! 
Hey, we got him. The bomber missed, too. The bomber missed. I could have just done it with my infantry alone. All the same. Feels good, man. Feels good. That That's two, two American fighters I plucked from Archangel and Yakut. That was a mistake, man. Separating them up like that, that was a uh, definite mistake on your part. My bomber will bring back where it's safe. Now these two guys come north. Grab you both. Let's say... One and one. Now I'm building another sub. So I will bring the one down. Uh, you guys. We'll step them forward. And if my planes can land. Yeah, they can. Okay, so there you go. So Szechuan is very well fortified now. Very, very well fortified. Ooh, that transport's exposed. Oh, that was a mistake, grabbing that one unit. That was a mistake. The fighters can pluck them off. Alright, so be it. If it pins them in place and then I can destroy them next round, whatever. I'll say a moral victory for me. Yeah, we're feeling good. Feeling good. I feel like I'm, I'm looking... I forgot to... I forgot to move the two destroyers back. I forgot. Oh, I just basically threw away two transports. What a joke. Three. I threw away all three of my transports. I threw away all three of them. And I'm recording it. And posting for everyone to see. What a mistake. What an epic mistake. It might, it might even put my enemies back in this game. Cause look at this attack power. We're starting to run away from with it, and I literally just threw away all of my transports. Unless so, by some miracle, my sub gets the hit. There's supposed to be two more uh, destroyers up there. Oh, what an absolute mistake! So the heat is on. I think I have this microphone situation sorted out. In case you're ever doing content production and you have that where you're you have this weird echo. You can't figure it out. Something reset, and it seemed like it was taking... I must have a built-in mic, like a junky one, in my actual uh, desktop. It's a desktop. It's not even a laptop. I didn't think they did. But somewhere else was also recording and inputting at the same time. So even though my no noise blocker is on, which cuts out the fans and the little bit of the, the background noise... It couldn't account for the two at the same time. So I was like turning down background noises. I was adjusting the noise blocker. It was helping, but it wasn't obviously making it better. I think we've got it now. Knock on wood. Stop talking, play the game. Soviets, Archangel lost a unit. No units lost in West Russia. <clears throat> okay. And our Yankee friends, Karelia lost one infantry. Left their transports exposed. Held on an Archangel. So I had an infantry up there. And then the Soviets finished it off. Okay, cool. And he took out my transports. Uh, I was That was such a mistake on my part. Such a dumb mistake. Okay. Now I'm thinking we just maximize 14, 14 units. 10 in Germany, 4 into the Caucasus. I believe is this. Yeah. 11 and 3. 11 infantry, 3 artillery. We have the tank core. We just need numbers and to hold on, I feel, at this point. Okay. Boom. Th 
31. It's not likely. It's not likely. Could risk it, but that's a lot of tank rolls. If, if he has a junky opening and I have a solid, I, I win that. Oh, it says it's favorable. That's what I mean. Even without the fighters, I, I, I know I have a reasonable chance at winning that. Use my bomber. Take out those transports. And over here we do like that and then all in on these boys. Maybe hold two back to come up to the Baltic. Or even just one. Oh, I guess we're doing this. I was I was considering it even without the planes, and it's it's a green, it's saying it's favorable. It's all that opening round. He gets a, he gets a shot at each one of my planes. You can feel the tension. You can feel it. Oh, let's go, boys. Oh my! He shot down three of my planes. Okay. Okay, that's a, an okay opener. It's not terrible. The three planes, though. Oh, my God. Oh, and he's hitting. Oh, he's hitting. He's hitting. Oh, no. Those planes. Oh, I'm going to lose this. Uh, it's going to be close. We need hits. Eight? Eight is not enough, man. Okay, we got this. We got this. <laughs> we got this. We got this. A little the extra bomber, whatever. Take your hit, bomber. Wow, that was intense. That was an intense battle. Oh, he won't be able to take that back. Those nine tanks will hold, guys. Those nine tanks will hold. All right. Got me worried losing those three fighters on the way in. My lord. Um, okay. Two round the guy. Let's go. Does he get a final hit? He does. That was a good defense on his part. Not that it's going to make a, a big difference now that uh, Russia's gone. Now that Russia's gone, he's not taking that back. <laughs> there is only one, two, three, four units that can attack back against my nine tanks. It's not happening, man. It is not happening, so. Let's go both you down here. You're up to the Baltic. You're down to Ukraine. You're into Germany. One of those forward. And my bomber! Take out three transports. Feels good, man. That's 21 IPC. Like, yeah. I mean, I guess technically he would have helped against Russia. Maybe I'd have an extra... Well, I, yeah, that's, that's... I'd have to have four extra tanks from that battle for, to that to pay for itself. Maybe it would have paid for itself now that I'm saying it out loud. 
get hit every turn. He might have he might have saved an extra so many tanks. Now for the caucuses, we still want to keep punching on. So we'll go two and two. And then just one and nine infantry into the Deutschland. Feels good, man. Feels really good. Oh yes, sir. This one's in the bag. See if he rage quits after this. Let's just zoom out so we get a good final look at this. But with that attack power, we're approaching two to one attack power. He's not taking Moscow back. I've taken out way too much of his transport fleet. The only thing he has going for him is that he has taken out so much of the Japanese transport fleet. But he also doesn't have a big standing army in India, so it's fine. I have troops on the uh, the mainland, and I can afford to build factories and build more transports guys and the audio's fixed my oh my how nice is that victory for the axis roper post horn it was the third reich that won the day for us those panzer tanks rolled into russia thank you for making it to the end the audio is fixed we will keep it that way I, uh, I thank you so much for watching this far comment like all that great stuff have yourself a great day Goodbye.